What does she do for a living again? What is she do? What's going on? I am does she have another job? My sister Jacqueline. She is amazing. Jack is an Don't example of what you can achieve if you devote literally almost all of your time to one thing. And after a number of years of that, to be recognized for it is beyond amazing. It is because you do it because that's who you are. To see other people recognize that's who you are is fantastic. Oh my, God. my sister deserves to be in the Hall of Fame because she got me Boston Red Sox tickets at Fenway for my 50th birthday. And as far as I'm in concerned, the players' family, that seats. is all that matters. Yeah, I got to sit next to Big Poppy's grandma, so all I, that's all I care about. <laughs> and Big Poppy hit one out. And Big right. Poppy hit a home run. Yes, that, that right there is Best hot dog I ever ate. Best hot dog. I'm three. Congratulations. Congratulations on your induction into the Hall of Fame. You are so deserving, not only for your success on the field, but also off the field. I have to admit, as a young coach, I used to take a bet at my table on how many times Jackie Joseph would go to the microphone. I lost a lot until I just started taking the higher numbers. But now I realize that you had the vision of what softball could become. You had the courage to continue to go to the microphone and push issues forward, constantly encouraging people to think outside the box. So thank you for going to the microphone, for taking the initiative to affect change and grow the game. You truly embody what the NFCA stands for with your unselfish service. One as a president and on the various committees that you have served and always taking the lead to stand up during our discussions for the betterment of the sport. You have been a mentor to so many and a leader to all those on your campus and off and to all those student athletes. So we thank you and say congratulations on this incredible honor. Personally, thank you for always picking up the phone and being a great mentor and friend to me. Uh, you've achieved so much. Those same skills, experience, and knowledge you've taken to the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association and leadership positions, you've given back to your sport. I can't tell you how proud I am of you being inducted into the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association Hall of Fame. When I think about you, I think about leadership and your ability to challenge all of us to think bigger and be bigger. I think about your ability to develop talent, develop young coaches, I think about your knowledge in the game and your curiosity to get better. But I'm most impressed with the person that you are, committed to her family, committed to her Spartan program, and committed to anybody that wants to build and grow in this sport. I can't think of anyone who has earned it more than you um, through your years and years of service, to our sport, to hundreds of young women, um, because of you, the sport of softball has truly grown and prospered and developed in ways it never would have without your leadership. Your leadership and your courage and your innovation, your ability to pick the hot topics and then fight for them. Thank you, Jackie, for your integrity. You have always put the student athlete first. Thank you for your work as president of the NFCA and your commitment to make the game of softball better for everyone. Anything out there, she's so fast, okay? okay? okay. Anything on the groundwork's either one. I remember my first banquet that I had a chance to attend, and I remember thinking, I can't wait for Coach Jay to be on the stage. Uh, I think I was also a little bit scared of what would come out of your mouth, um, but I'm really excited for you. You've done so much for over 130 of us, uh, you know, we're teachers, doctors, uh, lawyers, uh, successful business people, and you've helped really mold the sport of softball as well. And so, thank you so much. This is our turn to, to really be so proud of you. You know, when I think of Jackie Joseph, I think of a, several things. One, greatest coaching voice in America. Are you going to do anything today? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, just anything <laughs> yeah. at all. Well, you were down there at Listen, the I haven't done anything that's what either. when you walking away. I'm... I haven't done anything either. <laughs> Two, the annual perpetual chair of the Big Ten Conference meeting regardless of who's actually the chair. But really, most importantly, I think of a woman who has the greatest leadership. She's impacted our game with her vision. And the reason NCAA softball is where it's at today is because of your vision. You are one of the most generous and selfless people in the sport. You always make time to help everyone. Most importantly, you've always loved your team and your institutions, but you've always had this uncanny knack and uncanny way about you to see the sport as a whole and the big picture. 
you've always worked for the good of the sport. You were a head coach at a young age, you were the NFCA president at a young age, and you've just kept going from there. You elevated the association, you elevated the game of softball. You have a really neat knack of being able to add humor to get your points across and to get people on your side. And I've always appreciated it. fly ball, preferably in the green part of the field. The green, brown, green. You are a professional beyond all. You're of the highest integrity. And I think if we were to take every softball coach in the world, and line them up, Jackie Joseph would stand number one as a woman who's impacted our sport. I have a lot of stories I can tell about you, but I'm going to narrow it down to one. Uh, your senior year, remember back, you're a Chippewa. Your senior year, uh, the doctors do not okay you for practice or for games. You're not cleared until the first day of the spring break. So what do you do for practice? You put yourself in a situation so you can see all the pitchers and the hitters and you visualize yourself hitting. Then, first day of the spring break is the first day you're cleared to hit, so you are DH. And you hit 400 plus batting average just from doing the mental preparation. So if you ask me, mental prep, you are mentally tough. Great job then, and great job with all the work that you've done for the NFCA. We greatly appreciate it and for the sport of fast pitch softball. Congratulations again, Jackie, and enjoy your day. I'm, I'm grateful to have been a small part of your journey, and I'm even more grateful that you were a part of mine. Um, you're truly a pioneer in our sport um, in every sense of the word. I am honored as your colleague, but really I'm most thrilled as your friend to uh, congratulate you on your induction tonight. I'm still very blessed to call you a colleague and a friend, and I just want to congratulate you again on your big night. You deserve it, enjoy it, and I love you most deserving and I'm sending you big hugs. So thank you, congrats, and we love you. Congratulations on your induction to the NFCA Hall of Fame. Jack Way, congratulations on your induction into the NFCA Hall of Fame. Thanks for caring so much because we've all benefited. This is your night, well deserved, enjoy. Jackie, congratulations on your Hall of Fame induction. Wishing you the best tonight and uh, so proud of you, congratulations. Hey Jackie, what an exciting time from I guess one Hall of Famer to now another Hall of Famer. I appreciate what you've done at Michigan State. I appreciate how you've done it in the class you've handled it with. But to get an award from your peers that is of this magnitude, I can't tell you how excited I am, how proud I am, and how I think it's well deserving. Truly one in a million, Coach. Uh, and I love you. Congrats again.